Hi, this is Nyang Nguyen, I'm from Advanced Property Strategies, and also the co-author of the best-selling book, Property Millionaire. And here we are, back for another week of negotiating strategies, prepared exclusively for Australian Property Investor Magazine. So now today we're going to be talking about buying from motivated sellers and helping them. Buying from motivated sellers and helping them. So the thing about Brisbane, you know, I've grown up in Brisbane, I've spent most of my life in Brisbane, is that it's a village and everybody knows everybody else, it's like two degrees of separation, and I need to be really, really careful on how I do business out there because it'll always affect my reputation. So when I'm out there and I'm buying from someone who's motivated to sell, I make sure that they have a win as well. So the, the addendum I want to put on the back of that strategy is buy from a motivated seller and help them. Buy from a motivated seller and help them. So let's talk, look at a handful of uh, stra uh, ways or reasons why people are motivated to sell. So why do you think some people are motivated to sell? You know, you might be one of those motivated sellers right now. And there's heaps of them. You know, one of them could be deceased estate, divorce, could be mortgaging in possession, you could be moving into state, you could be moving overseas, or the owner could be overseas. You know, you could possibly sell because you need to pay your taxes. You could um, you know, one of the people I know, um, who's a multi-millionaire, he had to sell 22 of his properties a few years back to pay his taxes, right? And I know some of you would be grateful if you had more than 10 properties, but he had to sell 22 of his properties to pay his seven-figure tax bill. It was crazy. So, you know, he was motivated. Another reason why people sometimes are motivated is they're sick of the project. You know, one of the things I hate doing, personally, is renovations. And I don't know if you relate to that. You know, there's a TV show, The Renovators at the moment, which is a great TV show. But I personally hate tinkering with renovations. I love delegating it to someone else who actually knows how to use a hammer and nails. And you know, I, can, I can use it, but it can be dangerous at times. But my point is sometimes people start renovations with all the best intentions, but they don't finish them. So you, know, you might find someone who has um, been renovating a house, it's taken them 12 months when it should take them three months and they're not even finished and they might want to sell it. Right? Or otherwise, you know, developers, especially in this marketplace, if they can't get approvals or finance to build their projects, some of them might have to sell. And so the second part I was talking about was helping people. Helping people. So, you know, if someone, an example of a, a deceased estate, when there's five siblings there and they want to get on with the, their lives, buying that property um, would help them by moving on and some of them you can't control why people sell their property you know one of the the siblings might say you know what I've got credit card bills to pay and I need to pay it now so I want the money now because so, if, if you discount the property let's say by a hundred thousand dollars and it's divided by five people it's uh, a subtraction of only twenty thousand dollars per person so you know if the price is five hundred thousand dollars and you offer them four hundred thousand dollars each person isn't feeling $100,000, they're only feeling $20,000 discount. You know? So that's one example. Another example that you could apply is buying directly from a bank, you know, mortgage in possession or a um, receiver sale. You know, recently in the Australian newspaper, uh, a friend of mine, she bought uh, 27 units with her business partner in the suburb of Noosa. This is public information or public knowledge, right? And there was a hoo-ha in the newspaper because the, the project was worth um, $7 million and she purchased it for a little bit over $4.5 million. And you know, in terms of buying from a motivated seller, there was no one else that was willing to offer more money. And the receiver, who was representing the bank, wanted the money back from the, for the bank. So in this instance, it was helping the bank fulfill on their obligations because the person who'd borrowed the money hadn't been keeping their obligations by making the repayments and um, paying the interest on that debt. Now, this has been going on for six, 12 months, I'm sure. The bank just doesn't come in and take the property back. It took the property back after months and months of negotiation and lack of fulfilled obligations to the bank. So, you know, when you're helping people, you're looking for opportunities, wherefore people are motivated. You know, sometimes when people lose their job and their mortgage repayments are $5,000 a month, if, you know, what happens when you buy that property from them is that that $5,000 a month hole in their pocket goes away. So in my book, that's helping someone who is motivated so they can move on with their life. Another example, let's say if someone's getting a divorce, is that two parties oftentimes if there, there's a reason why they're splitting up. That's because they don't want to live together and they don't want to stay together anymore. 
Otherwise, they'd stay married or stay together. So in a separation or a partnership um, dissolution or a divorce, you know, you're helping them get on with their lives. So this is not opportunism. This is ways to help people move on with their lives. And people are adults. You know, in this game, everybody is an adult. And you're not holding a gun to their head, making sure that they buy it from you. No, this is not under duress. This is an opportunity for them to sell to you. And if they choose not to sell to you, you know, sometimes if they don't sell to you, they're going to have to take it to the bank and the bank will take it off them and they're going to be even more aggressive. So, you know, this is an opportunity for you to think about, okay, in the paper, may, I reckon in the uh, Courier Mail currently on every page there is at least one motivated seller. It, just, it says, um, buy this or the bank will take it. Uh, mortgage in possession, uh, deceased estate. There are so many opportunities out there. And, you know, it is your time if you're wanting to create wealth to go out there and negotiate with people and find out how you can help them move on with their lives. This is Young Nguyen for Advanced Property Strategies. Till the next video, I look forward to it. Hi, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want further information as well as a free DVD on five no money down strategies, go to www.advancedpropertystrategies.com. You'll see the URL come up on your screen and just um, sign up there for your free DVD, five no money down strategies valued at 97 bucks and we'll send it out to you ASAP. Also, you get the opportunity to watch it live stream from the website. Thanks a lot and see you next time.